Hi, this is Kat with Be Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Swarovski Greek cross earrings. Now I'm gonna be using an artistic wire ear jig, and this is the Q mark, so it's gonna come out looking like a little bit of a question mark. So I wanted to first start off by talking about the jig itself before I dive into the project. Now, if I can draw your attention up here, I have 18 gauge wire, 20 gauge wire, and 22 gauge wire. And I made some samples here just for you to see. For this project, I'm going to be using the 20 gauge wire, and you can see that it's a nice thick wire. The 18 gauge is a little bit thicker. Now, this does work. You notice that I did clip it a little bit closer to the top, so that's just sort of a preference thing, how you want your ear wire to look. But mostly, I wanted to clip it a little bit because this is gonna be really thick in your ear. So an 18 gauge does work, and it's really nice and thick and stiff, but it might not be as comfortable as a wear. Artistic Wire recommends for the jig tool to use a 20 or a 22. The 22 is a little thin, however, I'm gonna show you how to work harden whichever wire you decide to work with so that it will have a little extra stiffness to it. But for this project, I'm gonna go ahead and use that 20 gauge wire. So let me talk a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing here. You can see the finished earring here, so this is what we're gonna be making. I'm gonna show you how to use the ear wire jig and how to attach a Swarovski crystal to the top just for a little added embellishment and then add on that Greek cross. Now the artistic wire jig does come with a pusher tool and I'm going to show you how to use that. And I did want to pull out some of the other Greek cross colors just so you can see if you wanted to vary it up. I'm going to be using the vitriol medium, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to be using the vitriol medium for mine but we also do have crystal silver knight, we have jet, crystal, and crystal AB. So the other tools that you're going to need to complete this is a wire rounder tool. You're going to need a hammer. You can use this type of hammer or you can use a mallet type of hammer. I have a pair of chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, cutters, as well as wire straightening nylon pliers. And I also have my wire whacker plates here that I'm going to be using. So if you have everything ready to go, let's get started. So to begin, I'm gonna take my 20 gauge wire and I'm going to sort of pull off, and you can just kind of eyeball this, you're gonna need about four inches. Now leave it on the spool and use your wire straightening pliers. This will kind of have you add a little bit of extra grip to it. So you can go ahead and kind of just pull it off just like that. Because if you cut it beforehand, you might end up having trouble trying to grip it as you straighten it. So there we go, nice straight wire. And you don't want to go over it too many times because you're actually going to work hard in it. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that off and I can set my wire aside. So now to use the wire jig tool, you're going to go ahead and put about a half an inch to an inch and go ahead and bend it down somewhere where you can kind of hold it on the back. So it's coming through the front there. Now you see this little triangle plate right there. Go ahead and bend that wire around and you're gonna just wanna push it down with your finger to make sure that it is kind of coming in there. And you're going to wrap it around that first peg, just like so. Wrap it up and around. And now kind of holding it down on this side, you can see it's kind of popping out a little bit. You just want to wrap it around that second peg. And then you're gonna twist and again, just kind of holding with your finger and twist it all the way down. Now, here's where you're gonna use your little pusher tool to just kind of push that wire down to make sure that you're getting a nice solid loop there. Just like so. There we go. All right, so now the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this, but I need to bend back that wire and push it through and it'll come right off that jig for me. So we can set our jig aside. And now what I need to do is I need to clip the wire here to create that loop. And I'm gonna make this one nice and long, so I'm gonna clip it all the way down here towards the bottom. Now, like I said, you can clip it a little bit higher so you can see how that might look, but it does create a nice elongated look for something that is as simple as this design. So next, we're gonna take our wire rounder tool and I have on the smaller size 
And now you just twist. We do have a full video showing you how to use this tool, so I'm just gonna kind of work through it in this video here. But you just kind of give it a few little twists, kind of check the little burrs there. And this is to prevent it from scratching your ear as you go through your, the hole in your ear. So this will help get it nice and round. All right, just a little bit more there. There we go, nice and round. All right, and you can do it with this edge here. What I recommend if you wanna do that is just take your chain nose pliers and bend it open just slightly. And now you'll have a little space to kind of get that wire rounder tool in, just to sort of finish off this side as well. Just helps it give it a nice finished look. Alrighty. There we go. So now take your chain nose pliers and just sort of bend that back together so it's nice and flat and flush. And now we're gonna take our wire whacker plates. I'm gonna set it inside there and place this one on top. Now there are two different ways you can do this. You can take the tool, being careful to watch your fingers on the edges here and give it a good whack. And that will help to harden it. Or if you prefer, you can place them on there. And again, be careful with your fingers and just kind of tap. And you can see that I was moving in a little bit of a circle because I just want to make sure to get all those angles there. And now my wire's a little bit stiffer. So you can see that I'm sort of pushing it together and it's not moving as much as it did when I was holding it earlier. So that's a great way to use the wire whacker tools. As an alternative, you can also just take your pliers here, your nylon pliers, and just kind of work harden it by giving it a good squeeze all around. Just the more that you press it together, the more hard it is going to be. So that's just what is called work hardening. So you can just give it a nice little stiff frame. So now that our ear wire is completed, I'm gonna start by picking up and adding the uh, round bead to the top. So again, pick up that 20 gauge wire, and for this you're gonna need, I'd say about three inches or so. Take your wire straightening pliers and go ahead and straighten that wire out there. Just once or twice should be good enough. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip that off. There we go. Now for this next part, we're gonna take our round nose pliers here, and I'm taking about a quarter of an inch or so in on my pliers to create that simple wire loop. So you're just gonna bend it around until it comes to meet your wire there, just like so. And now, taking your round nose pliers, you're just gonna bend it back to create that nice, simple wire loop. And just make sure that that wire loop kinda comes down and is touching your wire. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it around and string on my bead and string it all the way down. Now the way this particular component is gonna work, I have one loop going this way and I'm going to need to flip it so that I have the other loop going the other way. So have your work facing like this and you're gonna take your round nose pliers again and bend it out to the side, just like so, so that you have this to work with. You see? All right. And now move down to almost towards the end of your pliers here, because you're going to want a nice big loop to accommodate that Greek cross pendant. So now wrap it around and around just like so. So now you have your loop facing this way and your small loop facing this way. Take your flush cutters and just trim that. There we go. All right. And now we are all set to put it all together. So I'm gonna take, actually, it's gonna be a little easier if I use my chain nose pliers to just open that loop there. And now I'm going to slide on my ear wire, close that loop up, and move to the other side here. And I'm just gonna open up that loop the same way. And I'm going to slide on my Greek cross pendant, making sure that it's facing forward. And I'm going to just close that up, just like so. 
So there you go. That is a very nice little simple earring and it only takes three ingredients to make. You just need your wire, your Greek cross, and your pendant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find all of these supplies and even more videos at bidaholik.com.